Hey guys, so today I'm looking at the new Seagate Innovate external hard disk. Now you've probably seen this on the internet recently for the simple reason it's making some headlines due to the fact it doesn't need a separate power cable. Now with most external hard disks, certainly the of the three and a half inch variety that we're talking about here, you know, you get big capacities in these drives, two, four, even eight terabytes in a, in a single drive like this. Um, with the three and a half inch drives, you normally need a separate power cable for the simple reason that the hard disk inside requires more power than the USB bus can provide. So with smaller external storage drives, you know, USB flash drives, and also the um, slightly smaller sort of, uh, you know, those like four, five, maybe six inches long, uh, two and a half inch drives, same size drive you get in your laptop, they, they can also run off the USB bus. So they're great for, you know, taking around with you, throwing in your rucksack and uh, swapping files between computers. Um, so Seagate's kind of, uh, is kind of managed something quite interesting here, and it's all down to the fact that it uses USB 3.1. Now, USB 3.1 is the new storage standard for USB 3, uh, or sorry, for USB. As, um, so we've had, the, uh, you know, a number of years ago, there was just USB, there was just normal USB. Uh, then we moved on to USB 2, um, USB 3, and now USB 3.1. And there are advantages, you know, obviously moving up through the chain, you get faster speeds, you get uh, full duplex communication, which means that data can go upstream and downstream at the same time. Um, and USB 3.1 is really interesting because it also provides a lot more power. So what Seagate has managed to do here is do away with any extra power cables. And as you can see on the box, we'll open the box in a minute because th this is uh, an unboxing video as well as a review. Um, you can see there that this, the only connector on this on this drive is a USB 3.1 connector. Now there are two types of USB 3.1 connector. There's the USB th uh, 3.1 Type A and a Type C. Now Type A actually looks exactly like the, nor the previous USB ports, USB 3.1, uh, USB 3 and USB 2. Um, it's kind of a square connector and USB 3.1 Type A is also backwards compatible with previous USB USB devices as well. So USB 3.3.1 Type C, on the other hand, as you can see here, I think you can probably see that close on the uh, on the box. Now that is the reversible connector that's also been used by Apple. Um, I think it's the uh, the MacBook Air that just has that connector and nothing else because it doesn't even have a charging port. It charges purely off the off the power provided by USB 3.1. So what Seagate's doing here is tapping into that power to get rid of all the power cables. Um, so it can't quite do that on its own uh, with a, with a, an external hard disk like this with a three and a half inch external hard disk. So what it's doing is using something called Ignition Boost. Now this is, I'm assuming it's something like a capacitor or something inside the device, um, which stores a bit of power just to get the hard disk moving. It's a lot like starting your car engine. This is the um, analogy that Seagate's given. So, um, you know, your car engine requires a bit of a boost um, to, to get itself going, uh, to turn the engine over and um, for everything to kick into life. So that's basically what the Innovate does. It doesn't just use the power from USB 3.1. Um, it actually stores a little bit of power in an, an internal, uh, either, the, either an internal battery pack or a, uh, a high capacity capacitor. Um, and it uses that to get the hard disk going. So after that, after it, after the hard drive is spinning up, um, that capacitor is no longer used, that power source is no longer used, and it just relies on the power from USB 3.1 Type-C, the Type-C port there, to keep the hard disk going. So why is that useful? Well, it means that this drive, as long as you've got another device that's got USB 3.1, as I say, it is appearing on new devices at the moment, like, you know, the latest laptops and MacBooks and PCs. Uh, most of um, Intel's new motherboards for its uh, Skylake processors include USB 3.1 uh, ports, both Type A and Type C, or or maybe one of it, uh, one or the other. Um, as long as you've got another device, it means that you can take this drive around with you and um, and swap it between PCs, which you've never really been able to do before with a with a drive like this. 
Um, you know, you've had to unplug the power cable. Um, you've had to, you know, wrap that up and put it in your bag as well. You, you don't really want to be doing that all the time. And it's certainly a massive faff compared, compared to, you know, USB flash drive or one of the smaller two and a half inch portable drives. It also means there's less cable clutter. You know, you've literally just got the single cable. So anyway, let's have a look at the box. Um, stop me rambling and let's actually have a look at the thing. So um, it's quite a pricey drive. I think I've been seeing prices in the region of uh, 300 pounds plus, 300 dollars plus. Um, eight terabyte drives coming a, come a little less than that, of course, but you're obviously getting a lot more fuel money here than just uh, a hard disk. So um, here's the chassis. Um, it's pretty gorgeous, I have to say. It's got a uh, like a, a textured finish, like a matte textured finish here. Um, so there's no reflections. Um, the uh, bare metal edges here, they're, they're really quite attractive. That would look great sitting on your desk. And of course, they also act like one big heatsink for the hard disk as well, which they, you know, the three and a half inch drives, they do get a bit warm. Um, you need to give them some sort of help when it comes to cooling. Um, so you can see here that the uh, the drive is uh, eight terabyte in capacity. Now that, that is one of the biggest hard disks available. Um, certainly gonna be enough storage for most people. Um, but of course it's, um, you're talking about one, one hard disk here and um, you obviously want to consider maybe backing up this data elsewhere because um, you know you can back up your data from lots of different devices or just one PC onto this but you always want to have you know at least two forms of backup for all your files um, so yeah it's a it's a pretty weighty device I'm guessing that's coming in at around uh, a kilo and a half two kilos just for that big lump of metal uh, and as you can see here I think you can either let's just close the box here plonk it back on top you can either lay it up this way round, or there are actually some very small rubber pads on the bottom here, so you could lay it flat as well. So it's pretty compact. Um, I mean, the in the hard disk inside is only going to be, you know, it's going to be sort of come to about there, and probably two thirds of the height as well. So this is it's a very compact device, um, and as you can see on the rear here, that is all there is: a single USB 3.1. Type C port, which, as you can see, is the reversible type, not the square type of the new the new USB port of the new USB 3.1 standard. So let's have a look and see what else we've got in the box. And here is the USB 3.1 cable. So as you can see, it's USB 3.1 at both ends. So this is not compatible with your average USB port. Um, it's not compatible with USB, USB 2 or USB 3. Um, that will not work if your motherboard does not have one of the new Type-C reversible connectors, as you can see here. So um, that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing goes. Um, I'll be posting up some, uh, some numbers to see how fast the drive is over USB 3.1. I've got a uh, USB 3.1 uh, Type-C port on my uh, PC upstairs, so I will, um, I'll be running some numbers off that and I'll be uh, back in a second with those figures. So I'd like to thank Seagate for sending in the Innovate for, for review. Um, as you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous device. It's pretty weighty as well. My arms are actually sort of uh, straining here, holding this at arm's length just so I can get it in front of the camera. And um, yeah, it's, it definitely feels like it's worth that money. Uh, you get eight terabytes of storage as well. Uh, for the moment, Seagate's told me that only an eight terabyte version will be available uh, for now anyway. They haven't said anything about uh, having a two terabyte or four terabyte drive. Um, obviously eight terabytes is possibly a bit excessive for a lot of people, um, but I think given the price, uh, the price range, I think you know, the kind of people that this is aimed at are probably people that just want to, they just want the biggest drive available, they want the fastest drive available, and looking at the figures, uh, Seagate's claiming some pretty fast speeds here as well. Um, I won't go too much into detail because I'll speak about that in a minute. And um, then, yeah, so I, I really like this device, build quality wise. I mean, it's just basically one big lump of metal here. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with the build quality. Um, everything you need is included. As I say, you know, you've got the uh, USB 3.1 Type-C port, which plugs in like so. And that is the only cable that you need to power this device, which is 
pretty cool uh, for, a, for an external uh, high capacity storage drive. Um, you can obviously do that with the smaller storage drives, um, but as far as I know, the two and a half inch models only come in capacities up to two, uh, two terabytes. Um, and they're obviously, um, that's obviously quite a bit of space, uh, but obviously I think if you need more space, the only way to go, the only way to go is to go for, you know, um, a three and a half inch drive. And with that, you also need the power cables and everything that goes with it. So that's one of the boons of, of this device. Uh, as I say, I'll be uh, back in a minute with some, with some speed numbers. So thanks again to Seagate and uh, thanks for watching. So I'm back with some performance numbers here and first of all again I'd like to say thank you to Seagate for providing a sample of the Innovate external storage drive and also to Asus who provided a, a Maximus 8 Hero Alpha motherboard, I think I got that right, um, which comes equipped with a USB 3.1 type C port, um, that's one of its latest um, motherboards for Intel Skylake processors. So I've used that with the, uh, with the Innovate hard disk um, along with Windows 10 64-bit as well. So as you can see I've used a version of Crystal Disk Mark and basically what we're looking at here are the sequential numbers. Um, these are the numbers that you'll you'll uh, most likely be um, looking at if you're concerned about transferring large amounts of data to and from the Innovate storage drive. So start with then the read numbers. Um, we're looking at over 200 megabytes a second here which is a good 10 megabytes plus uh, megabytes a second faster than what Seagate's actually quoted. So these are some pretty impressive numbers um, and even more impressive is the write speed which was consistently above 180 megabytes a second, 195 there in the, uh, the sort of standard uh, sequential test. So that's a lot faster than the 100 meg 150 megabytes a second that Seagate quoted. And I've backed these numbers up with uh, just dropping a uh, two, ter uh, two, sorry, two gigabyte uh, video file onto the Innovate and I was seeing numbers um, well over 170 megabytes a second, which is still 20 megabytes a second faster than what Seagate was quoting. So overall, this is a really, really fast drive. It's not SSD fast, but then again, you're going to be paying a lot more for a, a, an equivalent size SSD. If they even exist, I don't think they do. Certainly not for consumers. But um, I'd like to say thank you again to Seagate for providing the drive. Um, and yeah, I'm really impressed with the Innovate. So there you go. Thanks for watching.